Okay, hello. My name is Susan. I go by uh, Shady Susan, oh, Sewing Sensations by Shady Susan. And um, I figured I would just uh, chat a little while I'm uh, sewing on my husband's quilt for his chair because he liked to sit in his chair all the time. And I don't, he's worried about wearing it out. So, he asked me if I could make him a little quilt. So, like whoever didn't see my live last night, this is what I was sewing on. And uh, you know what, it would probably help if I put my quarter inch foot on. I just thought about that last night. But um, he asked me to make this for him. So, oh, that's just what I, I'm sorry people, I am always losing track of what I'm saying right in the middle of it, you know? But uh, he asked me to make this uh, blank blanket for him for him chair, and I was working on it last night during my live, if nobody got a chance to see it. This is what I was working on. But this is for my hubby. I want a chair. I mean, want a chair cover. This is the foot that come on my... Um, my uh, sewing machine, my Juki. But I'm going to put this one on. This one's for a quarter inch foot. I mean a quarter inch um, seam foot. And since that one I'm doing, I don't know how safe this is. I wish I could find one that would um, have that guard on it like this one do. You keep your fingers from getting run over by the needle. Because let me tell you, that's very painful. If y'all have never gotten sewed your finger, I have. When I worked in a sewing factory, it hurt too. But I had to get a tetanus shot. That's the worst part of it. Because those tetanus shots hurt very, very much. Oh, I better put this foot in here because I don't need him getting bent or anything. I don't know if he'll fit. Hopefully he will. Nope, him not going to fit. Look at that. He bigger than the package here. But we'll put him in there anyway. It's just plastic, so. But here we go. I'm going to um, sew along here. Sew all these little strips together. This is what I did last night. The second I'll show you when I get this. Uh, I don't know why that tried to slip around there. This is what I sewed last night. And that didn't make too, too much. Oh, I didn't see that I did two of those like that. Oh, that fabric, I like the way it looked. That um, blue one. Not pretty. But this is what it's going to look like. I figured this would be a good dark color for him. Because uh, I call him Messy Marvin. <laughs> call him Sparky, Messy Marvin. His name's actually Bobby, but <laughs> I don't call him that. I don't think I ever did call him Bobby. Maybe when I first met him, and he told me his name was Bobby, and I called him Bobby when I first met him, but and then uh, we started dating, and I started coming up with little nicknames for him, and the nickname kind of person. Even though there's only a few names that I will answer to. Either Shady Susan or Susan, usually. I don't like being called Sue. I know some people, if they name is, is uh, Susan, they go by Sue. And I don't know why I have never liked being called Sue. Unless it was by my grandma. My grandma could call me anything. Anything her heart desired. And I would answer but because I loved my grandma so so much she always told all my sisters I was her favorite granddaughter and that was actually my stepdad's mom but grandma grandma Gary loved her very very much been past for many many years I was in my 30s I think was I yet in my 30s Oh, no. Yeah, because my daughter was born when 
grandma passed. So, yeah, I have two kids. Well, I had, I had. It's a sad thing. I lost my daughter many years ago. Maybe one day I'll tell the story what happened with her. Not a day goes by. I don't think about my little, my little baby girl. And I just had a son, and I had six, six stepkids. That a lot. Thank goodness my husband was done making kids by the time we met. <laughs> but I had two in this gun. I want, I did, well, I would have looked, liked to have had more, but kids are expensive. That is two and done. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of not put the same ones together here. I don't know why these... These ones, these little flag-looking ones, are seem to be a lot shorter than the other ones. Some of them seem to be a lot longer, like two of them, I think. But, oh well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I keep having to look at that because the other day I tried taping, and it shut off like six minutes in. I don't know what happened. Oh, I think this one might be a little narrower, too. But, oh well, just for a chair, a chair quilt. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. You don't know if you guys ever heard of these things. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see where they're at. I love these little jobbies. They're little, little, um, so, oh, here they are. A second ago, reach behind you. They're called halo rings. I got them when I bought my um, sew study table for my Janome. But see that? It's a little spring thing that you put stuff in to hold it. Oh, I don't want to go in there because of the stuff that's on there. But, and then it, it, it glues onto your surface. I got a couple of them on here. It glues onto your surface to hold your stuff right handy for you. I gave one to my husband for his uh, tablet because he was always losing a stylus. Because he's got real huge fingers and he was um, couldn't type very good. He's one of those peckers anyway. You know, peck, 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 one stitch at one. Um, letter or number at a time but they're called halo rings and I love these little things they're great I've got quite a few more in here Let's see two four six I got eight more nine ten eleven yep twelve <laughs> I had to give him one well I didn't have to but I did but uh help him not losing his stylist but you know what made me think of those is because um I have them up here on my sewing machine. That's where I have my little scissors up here, and I got my my one of my seam rippers up over here. And oh, oh, I got a rubber band on there, so that one will stay on there. Let's see, it hooks up one here, right here. I have a little a little um, um, hook to put my nippers on. It's a command strip hook. I got a whole package of them, but that's the only ones I wound up using so far. But I'll just tell you guys about my little jobbies make a make a sewing a little bit easier, and you know, making stuff handy to have around here. Um, sewing. Yeah, you guys probably can't see real well because of this light, but I don't know what to do about that. But but anywho, you guys have all probably uh, know what it looked like to sew anyhow, but you know, I can't find the back of the light. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can see a little bit better there. I can't tell, but yeah, this is my, uh, my, uh, Industrial Juki DDL 
55.50 in. There's a, another one you can get that's pretty much the same thing, but it's made in China. And pretty much anymore, it just seems like everything's made in China and it doesn't last. So that's why I bought this one, because it comes from uh, Japan, where that's where the Jukis originally came from. I don't know if everybody actually knew that, and then they started, Japan, or, or China started making them, and I don't know, it just seemed like in our world today that everything is made in China, and it's uh, made disposable. I don't know if you'll feel the same way, but I know I keep having to turn around and make sure that my uh, camera's still running. I love this old camera. It's a new um, um, webcam that I bought not long ago. Because the one that I had, well, I bought a, a little bit more expensive one, and the darn thing is um, got a real short cord on it. I don't understand that. Why they would put such a short little cord on a camera? Look at that, short little cord. My cam, my computer. In order for it to have, that's how how long it is. You know, that didn't work for me. So, I paid good money for it. Come to think of it, I probably ought to send it back. And get me a different one. I didn't understand that why it was so short. I guess I could put my my computer up on a... I had it up on the table, but it took up quite a bit of space. Because the tower. Because I'm on a desktop. <clears throat> I like my... Uh, I still haven't looked into... I don't know if you guys remember me saying that my laptop bit the dust, but it did, and I haven't looked into yet getting another um, laptop. My husband just asked me again the other day if I got a hold of Al, looked into getting me a laptop yet, and I said, no, I haven't, not yet. I will eventually, I'm sure. Probably ought to let him have a chance to look around. Call me, get my numbers to buy it. And then he'll either bring it out or meet me somewhere. Because he works out at here. I live in Delaware. And most of the... Um, the places that you uh, get your computers fixed by and stuff, they're mobile anymore. They come right to your house, which I think is a little odd. But, so that's what Al started doing. He used to have a shop in Dover, which is the capital of Delaware. I don't know why, but because they do everything in Wilmington, which is up close to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And, uh, but our capital is actually in Dover. I live about, probably about 20 miles from the capital. But, it doesn't really seem like it's uh, that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't know if this will be too many or what, but I'll just, uh, I can make him two little arm pads for the arms of his chair, which I crocheted him. Did I crochet them or knit them? I can't remember. But I made some out of yarn. And then I made him a cover for his foot. For the foot portion of his uh, recliner. We have matching recliners in the living room. And, uh, I always tell him just because I don't sit in mine as much as he does. Because I'm always back in my room here. But that don't mean he can sit in it. That's my chair. <laughs> fight over furniture <laughs> like two little kids <laughs> not really <laughs> you don't know why these fat quarters weren't the same size of the same brand and everything but some of them are an inch longer and I cut them on my active quilt is that what it called yeah my die here I showed last night but maybe not everybody saw that this, uh, 
AccuQuilt strip cutter so for the two and a half um, two and a half inch strips like um, what are they called? What are these? Layer cake. No, they're not a layer cake. What is this? Jelly roll. This is a mini though. I got it in my fat quarter. Or my, uh, yeah, my fat quarter uh, sew sampler box. Which I got one coming. I got one coming. I was so excited. I can't believe that I, oh, got off track here. See what's happened when I get all excited? But, um, my, um, I wasn't checking my email like I should have been. So I had the notification that they wanted money for my show sampler box a whole day late. But it's paid for, so it should be here. It should be here in probably three or four days. Yeah, I should know that. Yeah, I shouldn't have known that, but I thought it came on the, I thought it was around the 20th, but whatever. Whenever they let me know that it's around the 20th, I guess. Whenever they let me know. So I think it was two days ago I paid for it. One or two days ago, something like that. My memory's not too good. But uh, whenever you tell me, I mean, they sent me an email notifying me that they wanted a payment for it and because now I think it's $35 $34, $35 for the box now it was $29.90 because uh, there's no taxes in the state where I live I know a lot of people because we pay the taxes Everybody says we live in a, a no-tax place, but that's not true. Our taxes come when at the end of the year when you pay your income tax to the um, for your federal income tax. The what is it? You know, when you do your taxes at the end of the year, that's when we pay taxes for the state of Delaware. We don't pay. You know, when you go to the store pay taxes every time you spend money at the store and stuff we don't do that that's tax free but we pay yearly at the end of the year believe me and then you know on our our home we pay taxes through that and all that you know now why am i talking about oh i thought i had those uh one upside down, but it's not. Yeah, this is going to be a very colorful quilt for him, and I don't know if you guys remember me saying last night, or if you didn't see it, this is Fat Quarters that I'm getting from, um, let me see, it's called Mia, or Emma and Mila pre-cut Fat Quarters. I got them at, um, Walmart. They was 25 cents. They was on sale. They, I think the regular price was um, um, 97 cents maybe. And they had them on, on the clearance because they was all pretty much uh, 4th of July patterns. You know, the flag, USA, like that. I'll show you some of them. This is one. This is one. This is one of the flag, kinda. And this is one of the barbecue one. And the other one's way down here. Oh, let me. Did I show that one? Oh, I guess I did. I already showed that one. But I guess that's. Uh, oh, and I didn't get any more of. Oh, I got one more of this one right here, but I didn't iron it. This one right here. Yeah, but those other ones that I showed, I didn't do those in this. I just, th that section, I just uh, got them when I went and got them out of the box. But I got all of the darker ones that I had. And uh, figured, you know, might as well use them up for 
for my husband. I don't know what I'm going to put on the backing for this. I don't know what I got. I got something up there. I'm sure I'll find something. Something dark. Have to be something dark. And it's coming along pretty nicely. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. That was the quickest way of cutting two and a half inch strips using my my uh, show me. Oh, I didn't show you that either, did I? This is my go me that I got. Yeah, I didn't tilt it last night. I got looking at the video that I did. But it opened up like this. And you crank the handle. This is a hand crank one. It's not electric. But it wasn't too hard to crank. It was easier with less because I did one with uh, three layers in it. And I did two with um, six layers in them. And it cuts two strips at a time when you do the the six um, um, yeah it cuts twelve six six layers and it'll cut two two five inch strips I mean two two and a half inch strips sorry get myself all muddled up here but um I had uh, um I'd cut up quite a few, quite a few of these um, fat quarters that I had and ironed them up because you want them pretty straight. I didn't starch these, but uh, usually I'm a starcher, but I got them all ironed up, straightened out so that I could send them through my Aki quilt because I just kind of wanted to... Wanted to do something with it, you know? You know, when you get something new. I'm surprised I haven't used it yet. It's very odd for me to have something and not use it yet. Same with my um, Cricut. Got that thing, like, May? When did I get that thing? Yeah, May. Middle of May. It's right about the same thing my husband got his motorcycle. That's what that's for, his Harley, that he had to have. <laughs> that's so funny. How many old men got to go buy him a Harley? Crazy man. Crazy husband. <laughs> but it was a dream of his, so he got it. He knew that I was going to tell him he couldn't have it, but he can't drive it, though. He can't drive it out on the road because uh, he doesn't have a license because he's had three strokes in 11 months, so he has trouble with his balance, and he's taken two classes to learn to ride, but every time they didn't let him pass because he, didn't, he wasn't sure of himself, so they didn't give him his license and so for Christmas I bought him a uh, dirt bike for him to practice riding yeah his toys are very expensive that's why he didn't mind me getting my sewing machines <laughs> when he wants a toy it's yeah I didn't buy him the cheapest little dirt bike either I got him a little bit bigger one than what he had um first said because like I told him it'd be better to have one pretty close to the size of his motorcycle that he's gonna be riding anyhow his uh, Harley but, I don't know if I said that it's got a Harley but oh well if it sits in the shed if that's where it's got to live that's where it's got to live I don't care he wanted it he's got it And it didn't hurt my feelings one little bit that he didn't get his license. I know he would love to be riding it, but that scares me. I don't even let him drive my car. I'm crazy. <laughs> but I didn't figure he'd be able to get his license. So. And Harley's. Isn't it, if there, anybody thinks that was a waste of money, Harley's don't pretty much... Uh, 
lose their value. They uh, go up in value as you have them, especially because that one, I think we got a great deal on it, but that one didn't hardly have any miles on it either. So, which is a great thing. So, oh, my gingy bell back here. Yeah, I'll give you a snacky gingy bell. You got snackaroonies. Where'd you go, baby? Where she went? She was just under my chair. Oh, she went back down the room. <laughs> she come back, see what I was doing, and left. <laughs> She's an orange girl. Boy, this fabric is dusty. Got all kinds of lint coming off of it. Keep brushing the, the lint off of my thing here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, my husband got all excited when I told him this morning, I'm working on a quilt for you. For your chair. I'll get it done. It's gonna... I'd be working on this, so... I'm gonna be on... Dawn is live tonight for the elephant. I guess I got them turned around. My elephant trunk and my feet here. We're going to be doing a, a live tonight at, um, I think it's at 10 o'clock. I guess if I'd have checked my email, I would have known that. I'm pretty sure it's on at 10 o'clock. I have to go on and open my elephant. But that is getting to be so much fun working on my elephant. Yeah, I've got to go get some of the pieces reprinted because I'm going to make another one when I get done with this one. Probably for my girls. Lay, that, lay them out on the sofa. Because kitty cats need comfort too, right? Then I've got the, that's uh, Violet, Violet Crafts. Then I'm working on my Summer Moon. i got one more Birds in the Air. I was working on it. Did I work on it? Oh, yeah, I worked on it a little bit yesterday. That's kind of a slow-going project for me. I don't know why. Because I like it. I like it doing it. Just super slow at it. I get that other piece that I had. Yeah, I must have. I had an extra strip from last night. I don't know why I never sewed it in. But I had it sitting off there. I guess I ought to watch what I'm doing instead of looking over to the side. I hope this isn't too noisy for you guys. I'm kind of sewing pretty quick here. I've only got a few more strips here. Oh, I'm going to have one extra again. I don't know how I do that. Jeepers. I wonder if I use that other one. Oh, this is the elephant. I know I show it every time, but I can't help it. I'm just really liking that, liking that pattern. Yeah, and then I'm gonna just throw that book sitting there. But I didn't put it away because uh, I didn't put it away because if I put it away, out of sight, out of mind kind of deal. The, the Jolly Bar book. You get the rest of the pieces off of the Fat Quarter Shop, the, um, what's it called, a PDF or something like that to make the rest of it. Oh, that one's identical to that one. Man, I use these two. But, um, you get the pattern and telling you how to how you're going to make all the pieces and put it all together and everything off of the Fat Quarter Shop for free. But you have to buy that book in order to make the block. But, 
And then a lot of people don't know, that quarter top, they got all kinds of free patterns, too. And I need to get on there and print out all the socialite patterns, because I wanted to do that, because that was pretty, and I'd have to save them for the two patterns already, and then this one that I'm working on. I usually don't do that. I'm not real big on having tons of uh, different stuff working on. I'm not big, big at that. Oh, let me use my little fancy little tool here. I got this in one of my sew sampler boxes too. I love that box. I know a lot of people think it's expensive, especially when they went up five dollars. But they've had it for a couple of years and it kept at the same price. So you know, not you know the price of of uh, um. Postage is getting ready to go up the 23rd, I think. Oh, which means I got three more days. I need to go get me another roll of uh, stamps from the post office. Because I found out through Delia that I don't know why I never bought them in a, in a roll. I think they're only like 60-some 60, 60 dollars to buy a roll of them for 100 stamps. Yeah, I think it's 63 dollars. I think stamps are 63 cents now because usually I'll buy them in a book and I probably got enough stamps to last me for 20 years but who knows <laughs> be an inheritance for my grand for my grandkids <laughs> or my great grandkids <laughs> they come and clean out the house what was grandma stocking up on stamps for <laughs> but whatever <laughs> that's what I do Oh, wow, I got quite a few of these. I didn't realize I was sewing that many. Well, this might just might be enough for his uh, quilt. Look at that. I had a lot. Along with these guys right here. And one extra that's going to get sewn in here. I'll sew all of these two, two together and then sew this one with just the one. That'll work fine. Huh. How did my thread break here? Probably because my lead foot here took off a little quick. I do that now and then. know how I can do that. My hand just knows right where to put that bobbin at. Always has. I just don't know why. It's a little odd if you... There we go. Running back on track. I have a trash can down here. I'm not throwing the stuff on the floor. There we go. Sewing right along. Yeah, so I'm one together, and then sew two together. Well, this one's three. So two by two. Yeah, I'll trim it up and everything after I get it all put together and ready to quilt it. That's when I'll finally square it up like if you don't know what I mean yeah this is a that was a good idea I had to put my, my quarter inch foot I thought about it last night but I don't know why I didn't so what it called yeah quarter inch foot okay. oh that dust is getting in my nose the lint Gracious. It's going to be a nice colorful quilt for him. And I know he will enjoy it. He likes everything I make for him. I make him, I knit him socks. He loves his socks. I don't think either one of us wear 
store-bought socks anymore since uh, I started knitting the socks. He's got, he said, I didn't get any socks for Christmas this year. I said, that's because you got an expensive motorcycle. <laughs> Tease him only because I forgot to give him socks. That's the only reason he didn't get any for Christmas. Then he'll get some for Valentine's Day, um, Easter, his birthday. I've got like a bag full up there. The socks I've made him. So and he's got a drawer full, so I don't even know why he's worried about getting socks, but he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, his uh Yeah, you can get a cranking machine to make um to make stuff to crank it by hand. And it goes round and round. You can actually do the heel and the cuffs and stuff on it, which I don't know. But they're it's an expensive uh, machine to buy a sock machine. But I personally would rather knit them by hand. Because that was uh, a big lesson for me to learn how to uh, knit socks. I had to, I knew how to knit and everything, but I couldn't figure out how to do the heel. Well, there's several different heels that you can do. There's several different ways to, to knit socks. But I didn't know how to do a heel, so I took a class to learn how to do this one heel it's called Fish Lips Kiss Heel. I guess it's just by the way that they it's made. Then there's a... Um, I can't think of what it's called now. Just fell right out of my head. Darn it. There's this other heel that you make. And, uh... I know how to do that one, but, and then there's a shadow wrap. That's why I started doing now, because it is almost the same thing as a uh, fish lips kiss heel, the shadow wrap heel. I had to flip that one around. It was the same, same as the one I was getting ready to sew it to. But, yeah, on that one, this one girl was, wrote, wrote the pattern down and was selling it, and I was like, well, that's not right, because uh, it wasn't even her pattern. So I don't know how she figured that in her head, that she could sell someone else's pattern. But that's what she done did. But I imagine whoever wrote that, because I found it on YouTube from like six years ago. Somebody was doing it, and... Uh, so I just watched the video and figured it out, but, so I don't imagine the girl that was selling the pattern would be, uh, the person that, that wrote the pattern, they're probably not around anymore, I first saw, but, just like quilting patterns. I don't think there's much original out there anymore, if you ask me. It's just a revision of another pattern that you saw somewhere along the line. Just change a little bit around it and change the name. You know, put your own spin on it. Because most of these patterns were knitting, quilting, dressmaking, all of that were probably invented before most of us were born. Remember how they say that, a twinkle in your daddy's eye? <laughs> That's what my mom used to say all the time. <laughs> but All right, well, I'm sure you guys are getting about bored watching me sew strips together and chatting away and all that. So I'm going to sign off now and hope you guys enjoy watching my little video. And I so, so appreciate you guys um, supporting my little channel over here. Believe me, I do. I appreciate it. I try to, whenever I see you guys um, make chats and, and everything, I try to get right on that and answer you guys right away. 
and thank you so, so much. Appreciate you. Toodles.